I really can't stand driving downtown sometimes. They got like, they got Louisiana blocked off. For some event, I don't even know what it is about, but I can't believe that the city's allowed to block off a small block section and cause all the traffic to go around. Just annoying. So anyways, I'm off to go to eat wings and watch the UFC fight. Decided that I'm only going to Uber for a few hours a day. I'm taking it too serious. I'm hoping that my roommate will get his rent by, give me rent by Wednesday because you know, he still hasn't paid me for this month. So I'm going to threaten uh, if he doesn't pay me that he's going to be uh, kicked out and replace him with new roommates. So I'm hoping he gets it by Wednesday. Not hoping he will get it by Wednesday. Or, you know, him and his new baby daughter is going to be out on the street. So, as far as that, it's one thing I've been thinking about lately is uh, like money, you know? When I was with my uh, my ex, my uh, ex girlfriend, there's one thing I told her that it bothered me a lot. It was how people treat death and, and how people see that dying family members as like a retirement plan. That annoys me. I, I went to my uh, cousin's funeral. You know, he was a firefighter and he was burnt. 90% of his body like you know like melted cheese and just, just you know and he recovered from it well he didn't have any sweat glands and stuff you know he spurged and decided to enjoy what remainder of his life of course he ended up dying in a motorcycle accident but I was one of a few cousins that actually showed up and that's one thing that that scares me because I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of what's going to be remembered. You know, what am I going to be seen as? You know, as I get older, I'm watching everyone else have kids, and you know, I'm just wondering, you know, when it comes time, how, how many of my pews are going to be uh, empty? You know. I don't have any kids. It's, it's really annoying. And my house is right now being utilized. Right now being utilized by a non a non blood related cousin. You know, and he has a daughter. Just had another baby, and I'm allowing him to utilize my nest to raise his brood. And, it does, it does bother me a little bit. You know, no, another thing is, is that, you know, no one ever, no one ever really checks up on me. You know, ask me how I'm doing, how I feel. You know, they, they, they don't give a shit about my mental state. You know, as, as time progresses, like, you know, parents don't call me. You know, I'm sure it's probably just like, you, you should call your parents, they'll call you and all that stuff. You know, but... I'm slowly sliding off the map. So, you know, working harder and harder, less and less reward, and getting quite annoyed. So, I might be taking matters in my own head soon. Thinking about finding a realtor, having him give me a quote what he thinks my house is worth, possibly putting it on the market, pocketing that money. And moving uh, further out of the city. Uh, anyways, on the UFC front, I've heard rumors that they in, they moved Anderson Silva to fight Konye, and I find it hard to believe. One of the writers that, that I picked up was telling me that it's like no, they, they're not even the same weight class. Apparently, they bumped them up to the same weight, but. Apparently, from what he tells me, when they weighed him in, he's still under the, uh, I believe it's 205, the fight in the heavyweight. But he's fought, he's fought in the middleweight and middle division. 
Man, going to heavyweight, this that sounds well middle middle heavyweight, but you, you get the idea. Uh, what they call it uh, middleweight heavy or whatever, just before you get to the heavyweight. But uh, man, I want to see that now. That kind of lights up uh, the desire to go see the UFC. So that's why I decided I'm going to try to grab a spot in this one wings place and down a bunch of beers, maybe get liberated. You know, not drive Uber for the rest of the night. Even though uh, that was generally my main plan. You know, I bought some glow in the dark stars and stuff, put it on my roof. Same about buying a, uh, a black light. I even had the crazy idea about getting a dry ice and putting in a styrofoam uh, cooler and steaming out the, the bottom part of my car, but you know, it's carbon dioxide, so I started thinking, you know, this is an isolated uh, mobile box. I don't want to like box. I don't want to like end up passing out or <laughs> we <laughs> be on the news for Uber driver kills passenger and himself through carbon dioxide poisoning. But I was thinking maybe getting a fog machine or something to glow with the black lights. Uh, this is something that, that keep myself entertained and you know just kind of be a little bit above and beyond uh, you know by uh, by Uber driving even though it doesn't pay with a damn it is extra money so and on that front uh, apparently works picking up in there they're uh, saying that there's a possibility that not near, not too long near future that overtime might be coming back and overtime is best definitely where the money is you know so hopefully it'll occur and I can start having a little bit more freedom on the weekends so and uh, anyways this is just a uh, follow up Saturday afternoon on my Uber drives and uh, like and subscribe and I guess I'll talk to you guys later Weekend night, it doesn't feel like a driver. Bar rats! Watching the UFC. Hello! It's kind of interesting to be in camera in the bar and no one knows it. Mutual. Yeah, I like to make a little bit.